Okay guys, we got Coach Chelsea here again. We're just gonna go over some of the new mobility tools. This is actually Bradley's pull-up bar, but we're gonna use it for some mobility when he's not here. So you can check out Chels here. She's uh, got her hamstring and adductor inside of the leg. Very tough area to hit, to mobilize. So this is great, right at hip height. You can just kind of get in there, mash some stuff around and loosen up that posterior chains, make it more comfortable in the bottom of that squat and the bottom of that pull position. Very good. From here, we're going to move on. we got the supernova ball. Same thing. You can do some uh, some hamstring work on this. You just kind of get right up on there. We could also kind of turn and get the hip, the glutes, and or we can get the psoas, kind of hip flexor region by facing the ball and just kind of digging into the front of your hip there. Very good. These balls can all be adjusted to different heights, so this ball you could bring up higher and do some shoulder stuff as well on the pins. Feel free to use them however you like. Here we got another little pointy thing. So this one's really good for the anterior shoulder, the chest, just kind of digging in there. It's very specific, painful, but a good pain. Okay, we got two more down here. So we got the uh, roller skates here. So this one's great for the thoracic spine. This is Chell's favorite. If she's not on it, which is most of the day, you can jump in and use it yourself. So very good. You can also use the pull-up structure to anchor yourself and kind of bend yourself around the bar. So if you have a tight overhead position, this is really good. The chest, lats, and thoracic spine. Generally the culprit, working all three. This one is the thoracic spine, loosen it up so you can extend that upper back. And lastly, we have the roller blade here and the roller blade same thing we can use the upper back really good at getting right inside that shoulder blade you can kind of work your way all the way down the inside of the shoulder blade and or we can do the chest and you're just kind of leaning in using that ball for leverage stretching out that chest the roller blade can also be flipped in the other direction kind of hits it a little differently on the chest so that's pretty cool and then again you can move these to different locations so if you wanted to take it lower we can bring it lower on the pull-up structure and work the legs or whatever. All right, nice job, Chelsea.